<laughs> you have a lot going on. And is that your dog in the background? <laughs> That's my parrot in the background. Your parrot. Yes, I have two parrots. Um, she just went, Wah! Hey everybody, it's Audrey Yap for Variety here with two-time Academy Award winner and the star of Netflix's Away, Hilary Swank. Hello! This role of Emma Green, what drew you to her? She is an astronaut, she's a commander, she's a leader, she's a wife, she's a mom. Probably all the things you just said. I think the idea of the modern day woman who is juggling everything, family and work, and having a dream, wanting to live your fullest purpose, while also wanting to be the best mom and wife that you can. She's in charge of all these people's lives and she's vulnerable and she leads with authenticity and honesty and uh, sympathy and empathy. You know, all the qualities that I think make a really good leader. The only thing I've ever known for sure in my life is that I wanted to be on the first mission to Mars. As much as this show is about space, and that part is obviously very compelling, when I was watching it, I was like, this is really a show about women. Women who lead, and I think from the very first episode, how sometimes that leadership is called into question. I wonder if you've experienced that in your life, if that part resonated with you. A hundred percent, I speak my mind. I don't muddle my words. I'm kind of very to the point. And a lot of times I think women who are like that can be deemed difficult or challenging or, you know, there's a lot of adjectives that go with that. It's so stereotyping of gender, like that one gender can be this and another gender that, and if that gender is this, and it's time to allow everyone to be the colorful people that they are. I had this role been written even five years ago though it would have been very kind of steely you know it would have been very matter of fact all the time and almost like hard and what's so great about it is this is a woman who doesn't have all the answers and says i don't know that her vulnerability is seen as a strength rather than a weakness and we're taking steps into breaking down those stereotypes and with a show like this that has all these different ethnic backgrounds, it breaks through all the stereotypes of Asian people, Russians, Black Jews. It is saying, you know, these are these people and this is how they're seen. But when you get to know them, you see the humanity under all of them and that, that they all have a vulnerability and they all have a desire to live their fullest purpose and to give and receive love. Get that home, Mumbai. I love you. I really love you. I think we can talk about spoilers because the show is out, you know, at the end of the season. Everybody's wondering what's the fate of Rema. That's my celebrity couple name for uh, Emma <laughs> and Rom. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Rema. I haven't heard that one yet. <laughs> I love that you can have a relationship with somebody and it doesn't have to be romantic. It's really nice to see two people of the opposite sex who are cis and are able to have a respectful relationship and to be able to make boundaries. Whatever comes next, we can take it on together. Killer Films, which made Boys Don't Cry, they're celebrating their 25th anniversary. And given all the discussions about authentic casting and inclusion, is that role something that you think you would take on today, the role of Brandon Tina? Thankfully, we now have trans people who are, you know, they're actors. Not that they weren't before, but I mean, trans people weren't really walking around in the world saying, hey, I'm trans 21 years later, where not only are trans people having their lives and living them, thankfully, um, we still have a long way to go in their safety and, um, and their inc inclusivity, but we now have a bunch of trans actors who would obviously be more right for the role and have the opportunity to actually audition for the role. The Academy, they put in some new inclusion rules recently. And as a two-time Oscar winner, I'm wondering, you know, what do you make of those rules? How do you react? In order to create change and to really make people tell stories that represent the world in which we live in, which is a colorful world full of all of different types of people. Rules like that need to be set. But there are so many stories in my 29 years of being in this business that have been told from a white, straight male's point of view. And it does a great disservice to people 
who are living in the world because they don't get to see themselves represented on the screen in a way that makes them feel seen and heard. So I think for the most part, it's a, it's a good thing and um, will just make people finally um, include more minorities and females and people of all walks of life as writers, as directors, and as the actors. We will return home. You're my reason, my reason to hold on tight.